What are some of the features that you're very excited about coming with Postgres 18? One that I'm particularly excited about myself is uh, asynchronous I.O. What's the use cases of that feature? Well, it basically just makes I.O. faster. So we've tried to do use asynchronous I.O. before, and there are some like POSIX uh, APIs for doing asynchronous I.O., but they kind of suck, to be honest. But the way we did it now, uh, there are two implementations. There is uh, what's called uh, worker processes. So there's a bunch of uh, worker processes which are responsible for doing IOs for you. There's some tuning required with those worker processes, but that's the default in 18 and it should work across all platforms. The other one is IO Uring. Uh, so that's Linux specific and you need a fairly recent kernel to have the capabilities that we need. But if you have that, then you can enable IO Uring and then you don't need these worker processes, but each backend just issue multiple IOs in the background and use IO Uring to execute them. Do you know already which one of those two we may use at Neon? For Neon, there's going to be a third implementation, which will be like one worker process with multiple threads in it and uh, executing this I.O. Hey, what's the advantages of this new feature? If you have an I.O. In intensive application, you should just automatically get better performance with this. It's the SSDs can execute a lot of like huge numbers of IOPS in parallel. So anything that can take advantage of that and asynchronous IO kind of allows you to do that. Similar story with network storage, like the network devices, remote storage can typically do a lot of IOs in parallel, even though the, the latency is quite high. So applications which are using some kind of remote uh, storage will benefit the most.